Hi friends, thanks so much for watching. Today's video is going to be my Walmart grocery haul and pantry and fridge organization video. I know that where I am, schools are potentially going to be shut down for a couple of weeks and we're just trying to get ahead of the curve with planning and being prepared for if I have to stay home from work for a couple of weeks. So I wanted to make sure that my house was fully stocked and my pantry and my fridge were organized and ready to go if I have to be at home for a little while. And so I thought this would be the perfect time to share with you guys. This is kind of what I do mostly anyway when I do a grocery haul is I clean out my pantry, I clean out my fridge, wipe it down and then restock. So I thought this would be a perfect time to share this with you guys. If you like these kinds of videos, please don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you are new here and let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, so I just got home from Walmart and I wanted to kind of show you guys what I ordered um, for today. I don't normally order this much food um, for one or even two people, um, but again, most of these things are non-perishable or frozen food. So even if for some reason school and work do not get canceled, none of this stuff should go bad. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into some of the things that I got here. So first thing that I got were a bunch of these frozen uh, veggies. These are the steam in the bag ones, which I love because you can just microwave them. So I got a broccoli, I got some peas, some corn here, and some mixed vegetables. So I think, you know, those probably won't go bad. If I use them, great. If I don't, no big deal. Um, I also got some of these Tyson chicken strips. These are really good. You can um, cook these and eat them by themselves, but also you can toss them on top of a salad, like in this picture here. Oh my gosh, so delicious. They're really crispy and they're pretty good for you. They have like a good amount of protein, no artificial ingredients, real chicken, no antibiotics. Um, really can't go wrong with, um, with those. And then one thing that I really wanted to mention is I was afraid of running out of coffee, so I picked up some more. This is my favorite coffee. Um, it is just a medium roast. And then I needed to make sure that I had coffee creamer to go with that. So this time I went with um, this coffee creamer from Coffee Mate, which I don't actually think I've ever got before, but it is no GMO, which I love. And then it's made with real milk and real cream. The last um, coffee stuff that I got was almond milk and sometimes I switch between like a real milk creamer and an almond milk creamer just kind of depends on my mood I got some um, real like meats and stuff I got some ground beef two pounds of ground beef I got some bacon and then I got a whole bunch of chicken breasts I can do a ton of things with this um, individually separate them and freeze those so those won't go bad and then I got some tortillas here. You'll see underneath the ground beef. I got some flour tortillas because I was thinking I could do tacos. So I got a few things to go with that. I got some lime juice here. I got some rotel. I could use the corn with that as well. Um, just wanted to do like some simple tacos. And then I can also make barbecue chicken. So I picked up this Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce, which is delicious. And then I did get a few snacky things. Um, these baby bell cheeses, um, the mozzarella kind, these are really good for snacking. And then um, I got some canned tuna, which, you know, this doesn't go bad either um, and, until you open it. So you could open one can at a time or two cans at a time and make like a tuna salad or something. So I got quite a bit of tuna, good protein, and this will last for a while. I only got one can of soup because I think I already have a couple in my pantry. Um, but this is the healthy request from Campbell's. I got beef and um, veggies there. And then the Annie's mac and cheese was a dollar. Um, they were, it was like their rollback, Walmart's rollback. So I just got the regular kind, just regular cheddar mac and cheese. I love the Annie's mac and cheese. And then I did get some fresh green beans because I don't really love the frozen kind. And the best part about this is you can blanch and freeze fresh green beans and they'll last for a little while in the freezer. So I probably will leave like half of these in the fridge and then freeze the other half. Um, so then I can just pull those out and thaw them if I need them. I got a gigantic thing of mixed fruit because I already have some orange juice and I can also make um, smoothies and things like this um, with this kind of stuff. And this is a really big bag. Um, and no sugar added, just, you know, regular fruit. I got two things of salad mix because these will probably be eaten first since they are fresh. But what I love about Walmart is that they put their, um, like salad in these vacuum, they like vacuum all the air out of their bags. So they last, I would say for like at least a week, 
which is amazing before like some of the lettuce will start to wilt. And even then you could just pick out like some of the pieces that are wilting, but really good quality, already ready to go. Don't have to think too hard about it. Um, so that's everything on this side. And then I got a few breakfast items. So these pancake and sausage on a stick, it's just basically like a corn dog, which, um, kind of sounds gross, but they're delicious and they have good protein. They're really not that bad for you. I would say like the nutritional value for a quick breakfast. These are pretty decent. Um, bacon, if I want to do like a normal, um, I already had a bunch of eggs, like farm fresh eggs. So bacon to go with that. Um, I have buns and mashed potatoes because I was thinking about doing hamburgers. I have like um, things that I can, like ground beef, I can make hamburgers with. I can do buns. I could do barbecue chicken with buns. So I got some buns and some mashed potatoes. I did not get the family size. These were substituted. Normally I get the small ones, but um, they gave me the big ones. So no complaints there. Got some wheat thins for snacking. I needed flour anyway, just for, you know, replenishing. I got some more frozen breakfast items, some biscuits, some frozen waffles. You can do breakfast for dinner, easy. Those won't go bad. And then I just got one more frozen pizza. Can't go wrong with the frozen pizza either, so I got one more of those as well. And that's pretty much everything that I got. I would say this doesn't look like a lot if you think like this is enough for two weeks. I already have a bunch of stuff. Um, so you're gonna see kind of as I'm cleaning out my fridge and cleaning out my pantry, what I already have and how a lot of what I already have is gonna be added to this. Should be able to get me through two full weeks, fingers crossed. The first thing that I'm doing is just clearing everything out of my fridge so I can wipe it down and get it all nice and clean. Most of this stuff went right back into the fridge and there were only a couple of things that I needed to throw away because they were expired. But you'll notice I don't keep a ton of produce in my fridge. I usually like to buy produce when I know that I'm going to eat it. I really prefer to buy things fresh and eat them right away. Now, obviously, that is really difficult to do when you are going to be home potentially for two weeks and you might not be leaving your house, which is why this time around I got mostly frozen items just to make my life that much easier. Here, I'm just using a microfiber cloth from Grove Collaborative and the Mrs. Meyers everyday household cleaner to just make sure that I wipe everything down and everything is clean before I put the new stuff in. The next thing that I'm doing is opening up the pack of chicken breasts and individually wrapping them and freezing them. I don't want to um, freeze them in this giant package because I'm obviously not going to cook all six chicken breasts at one time. So by having them separated out individually, it makes it that much easier to thaw in the refrigerator exactly what I need. I am prepping some more things here like my coffee. I always keep coffee in a small mason jar here so it makes it that much easier in the morning for me to take the lid off and put my coffee in my coffee maker. I don't have to open up this bag and um, like fiddle with it and everything. So I'm just refilling up that container and then I'm also going to refill my flour container. I have recently done a little bit of baking and I was already out of this so I just decided to fill it up while I was at it. Next 
thing I'm doing is refilling the refrigerator and the freezer with all of the things that I got. I really don't love the way this freezer is laid out. I don't know if it's because growing up I was spoiled to have the freezer drawer that pulls out in the bottom. I feel like that is so much easier to load with stuff. But I'm doing the best I can here to make sure that everything's kind of separated by type of food. So I have all the meats on the top there, all the veggies on the bottom, and then anything that's in a box is going on the main shelf. Moving on to the pantry. This pantry was in serious need of some reorganization. There were several things that had expired. There were a few things that were not stored very well and I needed to just give it a good wipe down too. I think a layer of dust had just formed from not being wiped for a while. So that was the first order of business was getting this pantry clean. the biggest fan of these wire shelves they were already in here when I bought the house and so I just kind of went with it but you'll see in just a second that I think this pantry was originally a coat closet when the house was built because the top shelf is um, like the ceiling is slanted so it makes it really hard to put things that are taller on the top shelf I kind of have to put shorter smaller cans and bread and things like that I make it work here but it definitely does make things a little bit more challenging Here is what the pantry looks like, fully organized. I am so pleased with how this turned out. I have had these turntables for a while and I am such a huge fan of them. It makes it really easy to reach things in the back without having to reach over something. You just give it a turn and you can find exactly what you need. I also love how clean the refrigerator looks. It smells nice and it'll be so nice to have all that free space when I need to thaw something out when I'm making meals over the next couple of weeks. all for today's video guys I hope that this helped you and inspired you to organize and clean your fridge and your pantry and I just wanted to say that I hope that everybody stays healthy and safe and that you guys do what is best for you and your family um, during times of uncertainty for me I know that cleaning and preparing and prepping and things like this really help ease my nerves and my anxiety and so I hope that this video provided something like that for you as well if you liked it please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will see you guys right here in a brand new video bye guys